Hello everyone, welcome to Gotham Digital Learning. I'm your trainer, Musab Sayed. So in the last video, we have learned how to register a free tier account with AWS. And today, let's go and explore a little bit more about AWS infrastructure, and then we will start using AWS resources that is going to be useful for our DevOps classes. So let us start with, as we know, AWS is a cloud provider that provides services on internet or over the network that is called cloud services. Now, AWS also have a big, big and a humongous, massive infrastructure, which we call it as AWS's global infrastructure. You know what they have done in almost a huge amount of countries, they have made their data center. So they have selected some uh, developed countries or developing countries in which they have chosen some cities and in which they have established their data centers. That is called global infrastructure. As you can see on this picture, there is a huge amount of locations where they are now present and they are consecutively making new, new data centers every day to day. Now, their global infrastructure is divided into generally three things. First is AWS regions. Regions are divided into availability zone. Availability zones are divided into data centers. And they also have something called edge locations and all. If you wanted to see their current infrastructure, you can simply go to HTTPS infrastructure.aws. So this location is going to take you to their global infrastructure, what is available. If you simply go to overview over here, you will find that they are available in most of the countries across the world. So the blue dots, what you are seeing are the established and running locations. And the one which is in red color or orange color, these are upcoming locations where they are almost ready to launch their services. So people who are in India, they can make use of Mumbai location or Hyderabad location for faster performance. People who are in USA can go through USA locations. People are in London, they can go with London location. People who are in Australia, they can make sure of Sydney and Melbourne region. So for everyone, there are these regions available. So their point of presence where their data centers are available, they call it as region. Region is nothing but one big geographical location there they have made their point of presence. As I told you, they select one country. In this country, they'll select certain important cities. Like in India, they have selected first Mumbai and they have established their data centers. Then after almost four or five years, six years, they selected Hyderabad and in Hyderabad, they have established their data center. So they select one big city or one important city in which they will establish their data center that is called region. Region is nothing but one specific location in which they have established everything. Now, the problem is if I put all my data centers in one location, one place, suppose if you are working in Hyderabad, in Hyderabad, suppose they have selected Gachibauli. Now in Gachibauli, if they put all their resources at one place, tomorrow, if Gachibauli is affected with earthquake or flood or any other natural disaster, what will happen? The whole AWS services will be down. To avoid that, what they'll do across the city, at least 100, 100 kilometers far from each away, they will establish their data centers that is called availability zone. So availability zone is nothing but their actual data centers that it established across the city in the same region. So region is Hyderabad. In Hyderabad, three different outskirts they might select. 
one may be they will select at uh, mahbub nagar other they might select at uh, uh, some place in karnool some place in some other location so different different locations they will select which is nearer to hyderabad the outskirt of hyderabad they will select and they'll establish their data center so collection of data center is called as availability zone and each availability zone is away from the other availability zone at least 100 kilometers why because if one zone is affected the other zone should still be running and we will be able to access the services this is the reason they are called as availability zone so that it is highly available to us in this availability zone your actual physical data centers are present so one big geographical area is called as region region is divided into availability zones which is away from each other 100 kilometers at least now within availability zones they will be having physical data centers where your infrastructure is running how do i found that how many availability zones are there and others first you log in into your aws account and on the right hand side you can see there are regions so more than 31 regions are there more than 100 availability zones are there that is right now available in aws see every region minimum will have three availability zone minimum and maximum as per the availability now in this list you see north virginia North Virginia is the headquarter of AWS. It is going to have all the features. Any new service what AWS is releasing, they are going to release in North Virginia. And also the pricing, each region has different price. So North Virginia is going to be the cheapest region and the Asian region like Hyderabad, Mumbai or other regions, they are going to be little expensive compared to it. So suppose I am working in India, my customers are in India, so better to choose Hyderabad and Mumbai region. Suppose my company is established in US and my customers are from US, so I will better to go with US. suppose my company is established in uk my customers are in uk so i will go for uk to change the region just click on that region and that's it you are in that region so whatever virtual machines you create whatever operations you do it is going to be performed in that region so is it so simple or not see the whole world has come in just one click for us so i'm moving to singapore i'm moving to hyderabad i'm going to sydney i'm going to us any place you like you can go now whenever you go to any region in this you can look for a service called ec2 so go to service and here you can go to compute service in compute you will find ec2 ec2 is one of the widely used services once you come here it is going to explain you that how many uh, zones are there so as i told you one big geographical area is a region and region has multiple zone each zone is divided at least 100 100 kilometers from each other so here i am having us east us east is the name for north virginia us east 1 and first availability zone will be a second availability zone will be b third availability zone will be c so every region for example i'll go to mumbai now in mumbai you can see mumbai is going to have at least three regions 1a 1b 1c ap south ap stands for asia pacific south is mumbai one is the first if i go to hyderabad same will be ap south too so this is how we have regions and regions are divided into availability zone for this class this much is enough in our next video we will see how to launch instances and work with that thank you very much for watching this video and do come back for more